apples are getting huge. This one's got a little spot on it. Oh, so does that one. Oh boy. That all got that? That is huge. They're looking tasty. Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling much better today. You know, it really is amazing how quickly these things get dirty. I polished it and you know on that one street I was showing you the other day where they're doing that water work uh, redoing the pipelines and all every morning they got a little bit of water flowing across the street and I always forget uh, to go around the other way but just a few few little stretches of just a little bit of water and you just get a mess to clean up later <laughs> oh well that's part of life eh yeah just a few puddles just a few little puddles you get a whole mess to clean up later. It's impossible to keep anything clean. I think I should just stop trying sometimes, you know? Look at this girl. Old Betsy. You know, you clean her and she almost looks dirtier than when you started cleaning her. And then the next day she's all covered in dirt and mud again. Ah, but it can, it can get depressing if you think that way, so... We don't want to think that way. Oh, they got my strap up on the seat there. That's good. That means they fixed my steps on the other side. Because that's what was uh, holding my steps up, remember? Okay. Let's see how they did. Just about fell out of my truck yesterday. What did they do here? Ah, okay. See, they didn't weld it this time. This time they bolted it on. <laughs> I think that'll hold. <laughs> right on, good job guys. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna check the oil in this beast. Just wanna get the computer booting up over there. I gotta turn the key on so that the computer starts booting up. There we go, so by the time I'm in here, I can log in. Open her up. Check out her innards. What are you doing? Oh, I have this wire hanging here again it's been bugging me these are the wires for uh these right here right and they keep slipping out of here i'm gonna need two hands to tie that on there again now i don't want to complain because everyone's going to tell me how much i'm complaining and that i should stop complaining but i'm going to complain a little bit here okay so get ready to complain because i'm complaining people who drive peterbilt with the cummins do you agree with me that that is the most inconvenient spot for the washer fluid jug under the hood. First of all, it's on the passenger side. Why isn't it on the driver's side? Second of all, it's right underneath this, so you can't even really fully get anything in there. I mean, you, you can, but it's very difficult to get that last little bit out of the jug, you know? Am I just being whiny? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That is a bad design <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sticking with my guns on this one sticking to my guns you know what I mean sticking to my guns well, that's terrible and you know everyone's just gonna be telling me just get a funnel trucker Josh just get a funnel and use a funnel and it'll work every time you mean I gotta go and get an extra part because your part isn't placed correctly so I gotta go and get an extra part to make up for your part And then I gotta bring a funnel out every time? That's even more stuff to complain about. Boy, you're gonna get a lot of complaining then. That was the last of mine, so I'm gonna have to go and pick up another couple of jugs at the shop before I head out today. There you go. There you go, old Betsy. Your rusty old fart, you. She may be old, she may be rusty. But she's still pretty, right? Right? Just wink and nod. You're a good looking girl. Wanna keep her happy so that she doesn't break down on me.
know, she's looking like she's ready to rock. Oh, some of these LED lights are going to have to get uh, looked at soon, though. One benefit of having the LED lights with all the little lights in there is that if a couple of them burn out, the light is still good. Whereas the old incandescent lights, uh, if you burn out, the whole light is bad, right? Like here you see there's two burnt out in there, but it's still good. Two burnt out there, it's still good. And a bunch burnt out on that one, but it's still good. And this one's also working fully yet. This one also has the switch for the uh, warning lights right at the back here, which is handy. I guess, but you're never going to be hauling over dimension freight on this trailer. <laughs> be pretty hard to have to be poking through the through the tarps. Very smoky out again today. These fires just will not go out. Man, it's not as bad as it was the other day, but we got what maybe a mile of visibility. Approximately. So it's, it's about as bad as it was that one day when we went to go pick up those culverts. Yeah, it's about the same. Everything smells like bonfire. Even your clothes, when you go home at night, your clothes just smell like smoke. Like bonfire smoke. Not cigarette smoke. That would be gross. <laughs> I hate the smell of cigarette smoke. Uh, bonfire smoke, I kind of like the smell of it, but usually that's because it comes with a good bonfire experience when it doesn't come with that same experience it's kind of eh. and it's hard on the lungs too oh look it's getting even thicker here stop here can't even see the bridge yet wow that's gonna be another one of those days i've got a step deck you already saw it behind me roll tight those are always the fun ones These step decks are always such a pain to open and close. They're not that hard. There's a lot of drivers out there that'll talk like it's the end of the world when they have to open these things. I did this by myself in like five minutes. It's just, it is more inconvenient because of the step. This part right here, you can see it on that side there. Those little wheels there got to get onto that little uh, piece of steel there or aluminum. And then you got to tie it together up there. It's not that difficult. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. We got two risers down there just in case we need it. Uh, there's one of my pieces over there already. We're gonna put four of those on the bottom here. And then I have some smaller pieces you can see right through there. Three over there, one right here that we're gonna stack up on the step. There's Stony Mountain Penitentiary. That's our max security prison here in Manitoba. So the worst of the worst hanging out right there a lot of them for their entire lives so it's cleared up quite a bit I can sort of see a grain elevator way up there it's about two miles ahead so I'd say that uh, visibility has gotten up to about two miles very hazy at that distance though but you can see clearly for at least a mile just crazy this summer has been crazy I have never experienced so much smoke. Like, there's been forest fires before, obviously. But usually, you know, it's smoky for a couple of days and then, yeah, it clears up. But now it's just, like, all summer. Comes and goes and comes and goes. But it, when it goes, it doesn't fully go. It's still kind of smoky all the time. We never get to see the clear blue sky anymore. You know? It's always, even on a clear day, it's always like a hazy, hazy sky smoke it's too bad it looks like the fields are getting ready to harvest i mean getting closer to harvest season though before you know it the farmers will be out there harvesting whatever they can it's been such a dry year i mean i'm not a farmer so i don't know how bad it's actually gotten but you know they say it's been bad really bad so if you're a farmer down below and you're in the prairies of canada or maybe in the plains of the u.s uh northern midwest of the u.s like north dakota down to kansas that area there uh, how are your crops doing this year? Hopefully you guys uh, got some rain where you're at. Well, well. Oh, it's moving now. It's moving. The train had stopped on the tracks again. On the perimeter highway. Just a few cars backed up here. It's not bad. 
No need for an overpass. Don't worry. We can wait. We can wait. I'm sure there are much more important things. Ashu! Woo! There you go. Finally found a gear. Man. What's wrong with me? That sneeze was distracting me. Oh boy, this train goes all the way out there yet. We're on the uh, east side of Winnipeg right now. Whoa, these brakes are sharp too. What's going on with me? 